Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today's video has been somewhat highly requested. I have received quite a few comments over the past few months asking about this particular video, but there is a girl named Rachel over here on the YouTube space. Her channel is Shimmers and Silver. I will link it down below if you're interested in checking her out. She made the most recent request for a winged eyeliner tutorial. So of course I had to oblige. Who am I to gatekeep my winged eyeliner secrets? So today I'm gonna to be sharing two different methods to do winged eyeliner. I have two different methods of eyeliner on my eyeballs today. I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite eyeliners as well as some of the tips and tricks I use to kind of get the correct angles. So if that sounds interesting then you're in the right place. Just keep watching. We are very up close and personal today. So before I jump into the tutorial itself, I do wanna talk about some of my preferred tools. I am a liquid eyeliner type of girl through and through. I have talked about this eyeliner so many times. This is the MAC Brush Stroke Liner in the shade Brush Black. This is my holy grail. I go through this stuff so much. I've tried so many different liquid liners and this is one I continue to repurchase. A couple other favorites up there as well are the Benefit Roller Lash and the Fenty Fly liner. Both of these are great options if you are preferring a liquid pen. So I'm going to do a liquid eyeliner wing on one side of my face and then on the other eye I'm going to be using these. These are eyeliner stamps I got in PR from iMethod Beauty. They have a stamp on one side so you can stamp out the shape of your wing and they also have a eyeliner pen on the other side. These are a really great option if you are newer to winged eyeliner. I did receive them in PR but there is no affiliation. I just received them to try them. So I will be doing two two separate wings for you so you guys can see. I also have my mirror right here so that way if you see me looking down that is what I'm looking at. So I'm going to start with the winged eyeliner side and I'm of course using my MAC Brushstroke Black Eyeliner. As you can see I've only done the top half of my eyes today. I've only done brows and eyes so far. I find when I'm doing very pigmented looks like this it's easier to do eyes first and then go in with foundation and do the lower lash line. So I'm going to start over here and when I do my winged eyeliner I like to start at the very outer corner corner where my lashes are and if you see where my lower waterline is I pretty much like to just follow the natural shape of my waterline so it'll kind of come up almost like this motion it's very hard to explain this and look at myself in the camera so I apologize <laughs> I like to start by placing the tip of my eyeliner pen right at that corner of my eye and just draw one swift movement about probably about to halfway between my eye and my brow. I usually like to do a pretty big wing, so kind of to where my shadow stops. Doesn't have to be perfect, we can fix it up. Once I have that initial line, I actually kind of twist my hand a little bit so it's facing backwards. And then I will meet that point and do a swift line going from that point all the way down to the inner corner of my eye. So the end shape is something like this. Of course, you can go in and refine any lines if they're not perfect. But now that I have that initial shape down, I'm just gonna take that same eyeliner pen and just fill in the gap. So when you're done, your wing should look something like this. Mine are a little bit dramatic. I prefer a more dramatic lash because I have very short natural lashes and I feel like it kind of compensates for that. But you can always do this smaller or more natural to whatever suits your makeup style. And now for the other, I'm going to go in with the eyeliner stamps. They actually have a separate one for the left wing and right wing. So I'm going to make sure I have the left wing one. And these are really nice. I actually used these in a reel last year over on my Instagram. And I feel like they're very user friendly if you're still a little bit newer to eyeliner. I just stamped the stamp side on my hands. So you can see there is a flat edge and then it kind of curves up into a point. So I'm going to line up the flat edge of my stamp right in that same kind of outer corner spot that I started my wing over here. So I'm going to just make sure that the flat side of the stamp lines up with my lash line and is pointing outwards. And this is super easy. You just plop it down and pull it up and then you have your wing started. This is definitely a great tool if you prefer more of a natural eyeliner and is definitely a good visual as to kind of the proportions as to where your wing should fall. I'm now going to go into the pen side 
side of the eyeliner. I just dragged that line up a tiny bit and now I'm going to do the same thing we did on the other side where I take the very tip of my pen and draw a diagonal line from the tip of that eyeliner line all the way down to my inner corner. And here are the two different wings complete, two different ways to do winged eyeliner, two different styles. I personally am a fan of both. This is my usual go-to here on the right side of my face. That's usually the type of wing I normally do, but the left side is definitely very user-friendly if you are newer to eyeliners, and I highly recommend. And the Eye Method stamps are a great tool to begin your eyeliner journey. Now that I have my two wings on, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the face, and then we'll finish out the video. Before I close out the video, I just wanted to quickly touch on two more methods of doing eyeliner. These are methods that I don't use as frequently, but you could do them in a very similar manner. So the first is you could get a gel pot of eyeliner. This is from Pretty Vulgar. I really like this one. It looks like a little ink pot. So you can take a gel liner like this and then an angled brush. This is from MAC, but if you can tell, my number has been bitten off by Bruce. So I'm not sure what number this is. I do have a couple of them, but these are my favorite angled eyeliner brushes of all time. I just think they are so nice. And then you can also use an angled eyeliner brush like this to do a similar eye wing with eyeshadow. It is pretty easy to take a winged eyeliner brush such as this one and then you can hop into a really dark eyeshadow like this. This is from the Natasha Denona Love Palette and you can do almost like a faux wing or smoke out your wing with that eyeliner pencil as well. So there are lots of different ways that you can play up or down your winged eyeliner. These are just some of my basics. I would love to make any more quick little tutorials for you all. If there's anything in particular you are curious about, let me know. And as always, if you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe before you leave. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Bye friends.